What's up guys, my name is Eduardo and today's video is all about the aerial. A lot of people think of this move as a no-handed cartwheel, but today I'm going to show you a different way to get into the aerial, thinking of it as its own move. So today we're not thinking about it as a no-handed cartwheel, it's a separate move entirely. That's going to get you to work on your flexibility, work on a different kind of start that you might be used to, but also get rid of the fear of performing an aerial by going overhead without your hands. So let's get started. Before attempting the aerial, you want to get nice and warm, stretch out your hamstrings, and just make sure that you have adequate hamstring flexibility. That way you can work this movement called a donkey kick so that you don't hurt yourself, you don't strain your hamstring. Uh, it might feel a little tender at first. Getting comfortable with this and kicking your back leg up is pretty explosive. Once you get comfortable with it though and you have the hamstring flexibility, at a pivot start, that's going to get you momentum to get that leg even higher. Because you want to get comfortable keeping that leg up in the air so that you can step over in your aerial. So that's the next drill. Donkey kick up with the pivot start, keep the leg up in the air, and gradually pivot on that front foot so that you can step over and eventually hop over. Use your hands if you need to to walk and direct you into the position, but the important part is keeping your head low because up next you have a mini aerial. So the kick up isn't as important now, but keeping your head lower is, because that's what overall gets you directly overhead. Because now you can work the round kick with the kick up, with your head low, and your leg nice and straight. And once you reach the peak of your kick, that's the aerial. You're basically performing a round kick, and at the peak of your kick, you just step over like the mini aerial. This will work with your legs bent as well. You're still kicking your leg up. You're still keeping your head down. The only difference is your leg is a little bent. That might get you a little over the fear, a little over the explosiveness, but gradually work to keeping your legs straighter. That way, when you step over the peak of your kick, you're not making so much of a distance. So watch here as I kick up, my foot's still on the floor until I'm directly overhead, and then I step over. So basically, kick up and switch legs at the peak of your kick, so waiting last minute to switch legs. And last thing here, look at the floor as you perform the aerial. Try to look of a distance between two to three inches from your leading foot when you go and perform the aerial. If you enjoyed watching this video, please hit the like button and subscribe if you wanna watch more videos like this one. Until next time.